I'm going to show you how to use the Soulbinder from Ender.io. This is a really powerful end game machine that has a lot of really good uses. The first thing that we're going to look at in here is actually how the machine works. So we're going to put our capacitor in. We can actually pipe in liquid XP or you can use it from the player and I'll be showing you that shortly. Now, the first thing I want to show you is using broken spawners with it. So what we can actually do is get a soul vial here and a spawner and we can put them in these left slots. A soul vial um, is basically made with just some solarium and some fused quartz glass. And all you're going to do is go up to an animal with the soul vial and and what's going to happen is it's going to capture its soul. So if I'm right clicking here and I look in my inventory, I think this is because I'm on creative. You can see here I now have five donkey soul vials. And what I can then do is go back over to my soul binder and I can take a broken spawner that maybe I found in a dungeon. Um, this is a broken enderman one and I can put it here and I can get my, my donkey vial and I can put it here. And it will say there's zero out of eight levels needed of XP, but I can use player XP. Then both items will disappear and you'll see a progress bar progressing. The higher the level of the capacitor you use in this machine, the quicker this process will go. And at the end, you're going to get an empty soul vial back. And now the spawner will be for the donkey. We can also use redstone control here. We can look at the sides for inputs and outputs. And as it is progressing, you will see it turning like this, by the way, which is pretty cool. And then we can also show recipes. So one of the other things you can do with a soul binder is use like a soul vial with a villager and an emerald with four enchantment levels, so four XP levels, and you'll get an enticing crystal. That can be used in an attractor obelisk, which I'll cover in other tutorials, ender crystals, um, franken zombie, prescient crystals, sentient ender, really quite end game things like this. Or one of my favorites is you can make solarium pressure plates and it will be tuned to whatever animal you use the soul vial with, meaning you can actually only have that pressure plate be activated by, say, a llama or a parrot or maybe a villager. We can also add actual filters for our item conduits with soul item filters as well. That is something else you can do using a soul vial. Um, and there's things like that. So it is a really, really useful machine, especially if you are looking to make spawners. If you're not sure how to actually use the broken spawners that you have now made from the um, soul binder, you will need to use a powered spawner, which you can see here, and you will have to put that in an anvil with the broken spawner that you've just made. Uh, and that is how you make a powered spawner. Just FYI, that is how you actually then use the broken spawners that I've showed you to use in the soul binder. And that is how you use the soul binder in Ender.io. If you are looking for other Ender.io tutorials, check the playlist you now see on screen. I am covering everything in the mod. And also check out my channel and the playlists I have available for other mods that I am doing.